everybody, Cindy here. It's time for another pick and choose. Now, what I've done, I don't want to pull these all back out because they'll go all over the place. So I'm going to turn them over so I don't see the front side, right? And I'm just going to kind of shuffle them around in here a little bit. I have no idea what's what, so we'll just, sh all right. So I'm going to pick six. Here we go. We've got one. <laughs> draw with non-dominant hand or close your eyes and draw. Two, use white gesso or black gesso. Three, add freeform shapes or geometric shapes. Uh, let's see, four, paint with a gift card or paint with a piece of cardboard. This one came out, so it's five. Um, use a pen through a stencil or use a pencil through a stencil. And last one, write words or glue words. Hmm. Interesting. So let's see. Let's see how we're going to do this. Um, stencil, gesso, let's see. We're going to do them in a little bit of a different order. That's going to be the end. That I do know. So let's... How are we going to do this? Hmm. I'm going to use a pen through a stencil. This is going to be before the end. Okay. I'm going to use a pen. Actually, I'll use white or black gesso first. Then I'll use through a pen through a stencil. I'll draw something with my non-dominant hand. I'm not going to close my eyes and draw because that's just not right. Um, <laughs> you can try it. It's a challenge. It's very challenging to do that. Paint with a gift card or a piece of cardboard. Um, add freeform shapes or geometric shapes. And glue words or write words. So that's the order I think I'm going to do them in. Now I can't pick them up. <laughs> Alright, so here's our prompts. Now I have been going through uh, journals left and right and just tearing out pieces that, I don't know, I'm, I'm deconstructing a lot of my journals. Um, so I may pick one of these pieces. These are all just, you know, pieces that come from journals or, I like that, that's pretty. Um, just things I've messed around with. See if I can find this page looks interesting. Let's do this page, I think. I'm just looking for a piece of paper. I've decided recently that um, I want to do pages and put them in three ring binders. And as a matter of fact, here's one that's got a bunch of unfinished pages. So I don't know where that's going, but it's something I'm in the mood to do. So let's see, we've got either this one or this one. Look at that. I'd say they were on the same. Somewhere same. Um, oh, I don't like that at all. Let's use this one. Okay, so we're going to use this piece of paper and I'm going to do it again loose. Um, I won't be working on this side. I will actually start out on the other side. <clears throat> so here we go. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward, throw some music on here. Um, I can't wait to see what you guys do. And if you're doing these pick and choose, please put a link in my, um, my art, artsy endeavors group on Facebook. I'd really love to see them. All right, guys, here we go.
everybody um that's the end of our pick and choose now remember um these are just basically a suggestion or just an idea to get you going on a project um you know take liberties with them and you know if you want to add some other paint or anything else go ahead and do it um what i do is i just make sure i at least include all six of these prompts and when i do that i end up with my pick and choose but i also add a little bit more to it so I hope you guys have enjoyed. Uh, the prompts will be in the description box below. And yeah, let's see what you can do. I can't wait. 
Have a great day, everybody. Bye.